Well, I'm back with this speech and soundboard from a caveman. And unfortunately, what I found out was this, the SCO one that was in the board has failed. So I've replaced it with one of the SCO ones that I have in my supply. And I wanna go through all the tests again so you can hear the voices. Bear with me. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, No sound at 16. That sounds very haunted house-ish. <laughs> Something about extra ball. Let's see, all right. Well, that's a background sound. Let me get rid of that. There is a way through the interface to stop sounds like that. I just don't know what it is. So what are we up to? 16, 20, 21. No sound at 22, 23. That's a funny sound. 24, 25. 26, 27. Door away. Door away. Door away. Not sure what it's saying. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Danger. Danger. Get extra ball. Get the extra ball. Caveman wake up. Caveman wake up. So those are all the sounds that caveman makes. I'll be... Glad to be sending this board along with the driver board and the MPU back to you. Thank you so much. And we are in my Spider-Man with the MPU from a caveman. And we're going to test the functions of the MPU. This is lamp test. So it's pulsing the two relays and then the coin lockout. And now it's driving all the lamps. And the next test is coil test. So let's skip three, four, and seven. Those are the coin counters on uh, early System 80 games, and that is normal. So here we're in switch test. I'm gonna go across the diagonal of the switch matrix showing that all the switches are working. I'm not gonna do 77 because that one does something funny. I mean, it's got a function. This is display test. Let me back off that a little. It's important to test the ones separately because they do something different. You can see I've got one seven digit display at player one. I did that to um, hack in a seven digit game ROM for my Spider-Man. And we're back to 16. Let me go to ROM test, test 20. And it's accessing the ROM perfectly. So this board set is good to go. Thanks so much.